Alex Norwood is with us now here at 306 Barbecue in downtown Florence for UNA Media Days, gearing up for the 2018 season. A senior wide receiver, UNA's leading returning wide receiver from a year ago. Alex, take us through your off season. What was your preparation like getting ready for the upcoming season? I mean, in the off season, I, I spent a lot of time in the weight room, you know, caught a lot of balls and just really focus on getting myself in shape because, you know, this offense is going to be explosive. So I wanted to put myself in the best position to, you know, make plays. A year ago in camp, you were the new guy. Now you're the veteran of this wide receiver group. There's some young guys, but what sort of tone are you trying to set for the rest of those guys? Man, I'm just trying to teach those guys, you know, how to be coachable, you know, the importance of it, and, you know, to just give relentless effort and just not take this game for granted because, man, it's a, it's a blessing to do it. And, you know, it's fun to run around with, with those young guys. Man, they have a lot of talent, so, you know, it's fun. And what have you seen from those young guys? Who are some of the guys that have stood out in camp so far? Oh, man, everybody's making plays, man. Uh, guys like Andre Little, Cortez Hall, you know, Jacoby Bird, and, you know, Rashad Nelson, man. A lot of those guys are stepping up and just, you know, ready to be playmakers, you know, ready to get in and, you know, take their role and, you know, big, make big plays and score touchdowns, man, They're like we do. You know, this, it's just it's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. Those guys have a lot of talent. And, you know, I enjoy, you know, running around with those guys. All right, Alex, heading into your senior year, have you guys talked much? Coach Willis talked about this during the, his press conference. You guys will be the first Division One team. You'll be the first to win a game. You'll be the first to maybe catch a touchdown pass. Have you thought much about how this is going to be such an historic season for what has been traditionally an historic football program? Man, it's going to be exciting, man. It's it's always good to have a new experience, man. Like and like Coach Willis mentioned in one of our one of our uh, team team meetings that we get to write a new script. You know, the D2 script has been written. So, you know, it's, it's a new page and we get to write a new script. So, you know, it's on us, man. It, and it's just exciting to know that. How bad do you want to catch the first touchdown in Division One history at UNA? Man, catching the first catching the first touchdown would be big, man. It would be really exciting. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> All right, let's talk about your individual goals. What do you want to accomplish this season? Man, just, just, just being that guy, you know, just being that go-to guy, you know, when we need to play, you know, going out there and getting it, going, going out there and making a big grab and just, just being that energy guy, you know, just, just being a leader and going out there and leading my troops, going out there and, you know, just showing the young guys the way. You know, it's not, it's not as much as, you know, the stats or, you know, the catches, you know, those are going to come. You know, we got great coaches to put us in position. So, you know, just going out there and making big plays. Alex, best of luck your senior campaign. Thank you for talking with us. Thank you, sir. Media Day coverage continues here at 306 Barbecue in downtown Florence, catching up once again with UNA senior offensive lineman Cole Harden. And Cole, Florence, Alabama, you played your high school games at Brawley Stadium. Uh, you got to do that again last year. But what's it like going back home to Florence and playing at Brawley Stadium on Saturdays? Oh, that's awesome. I'm a Florence guy. You know, I grew up here, went to school here. And this community is awesome. I mean, from the time I was a little bitty playing peewee ball, they've always been supportive. I mean, can't go anywhere without somebody recognizing you, you know. And there's a lot of UNA Lions fans. And you have another a couple of Florence Falcons on this team, Jacoby Bird at wide receiver. But what's it like having guys from your high school playing with you at the collegiate level? I mean, it's awesome. I mean, Florence Falcons are hard workers now. So Jacoby's having an awesome camp. I mean, just having guys that you know previously, just it's a reunion. All right, Cole, you guys put on the pads the last couple of days. You're finally having some contact as an offensive lineman. How does it feel to get out there and hit with some of the bigger defensive linemen? I mean, that's what we live for. I mean, this helmet and stuff is great for skill guys, but once you get the pads on this one, we really shine and get, get after them a little bit. A year ago, you played primarily at left guard. I know they've been working you some at tackle. Uh, how's it been going working on the outside now? I mean, one thing Coach Lisko stresses is being able to play every position. I mean, I started at right tackle this year. I might move somewhere else. I mean, just he wants everybody to be able to learn each position, be great at each position. I mean, it makes you a better football player. Some of the younger offensive linemen, maybe some of the red shirts from a year ago, what have you seen from them so far in practice? I think some of the young guys are really stepping up. Some of the guys helped us out a lot last year. It's Cody Mann and Noah Stern. Um, as young guys, I mean, they're stepping up this year, taking a bigger role, and I think they can really help us out. Cole, always good chatting with you. Thanks for talking with us once again. Absolutely. Thank you.